Friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FACO and SICS training. Let us observe this surgery. In this case, we have two challenges. Number one, the patient is under topical anesthesia. And number two, the cataract is very hard. By this time, the main incision has been placed. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. The incisions are on the posterior aspect of the limbus. An air bubble is injected and beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. Few drops of adrenaline to keep the pupil dilated. And then the dye is washed out using BSS and the Simco cannula. And now, in this case, I am using only HPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, as the viscoelastic substance. One can use chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate combination in such hard cataracts. And now, capsulorexis. Utrita forceps goes, pierces the posterior capsule, a capsular tag is raised, and this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size rexis of about 6 millimeter. In such hard cataracts, we must do a large rexis. Otherwise, genular dialysis may occur during management of the nucleus. Hydro dissection is done. The nucleus is mobilized gently. And now, the anterior chamber is again filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And this much is the exposed part of the FECO teeth. The FECO teeth goes bevel down into the anterior chamber. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now watch my submarine job technique. The nucleus is pushed down, the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, travels through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. As it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to get a nice crack. Not much of lateral separation. Rotate it 180 degree, come to the other side, sculpt deeper and now separate the two heminuclei completely. Now, each heminucleus can be divided into three parts. In this case, I am dividing it into two large fragments. Done. I come to the other heminucleus. And divide this heminucleus also into two large fragments. And now, Emulsification of the fragments are done. From the very beginning, ultrasonic energy used is 85 percent in continuous mode. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and uh, flow rate is 45 ml per minute. This technique is for senior surgeons the junior surgeons must try this under supervision of a senior surgeon, under direct supervision through observer scope.
emulsification of all the pieces are carried out. During emulsification of the last fragment, the parameters are reduced to 300 millimeter of mercury vacuum and 35 fluorite. All the time the anterior chamber stability is taken care of. Bottle height is set in such a way that the leakage through the side port is compensated. Yes, the nucleus is managed. Few nuclear bits came out through the side port. You can see there is very little cortex in this case. Little bit of visco and whatever little cortex is there is aspirated by a Simco cannula. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. Some more cortex in the upper part. Now, the irrigating probe goes in. The main wound is enlarged little bit, maybe about three millimeter. Now, and hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal hydrophobic aspheric intraocular lens is implanted. This is Technis 1 from Janssen and Janssen. No financial interest in the products mentioned. The microscope is Topcon's OMS 800 and FECO machine is Faro's from Oatley. Going to make another side board for some reason. The reason is there is a little bit of cortex here which didn't come out through the, could not approach through the main wound. Yes. Now, all the cortex has come out. <laughs> and now, Moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber. The side ports are closed by stromal hydration. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that it will not require any hydration. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. First irrigation, then irrigation and aspiration, then come to the wound, hold it like this, give a forward push and come out. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Intraocular pressure is filled, it is normal. 
and now the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.